legendary Seth Riggs home. Uh, he doesn't know that we're going to show up. He's having a small, intimate party. I've been studying with him since, I think, 1982, when I was just coming out here writing songs for CBS Songs Publisher. Everybody I know who was studying with him then is studying with him now. Let's go and say hi to him and his wife. Hey, hey, yeah, oh, uh, all time. Oh my God. But you might want to take a look at this wall because I think you'll find yourself wow. on the wall. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good. So, folks, is. Yeah. Got, you guys got round. <laughs> yeah. That's before I lost all my belly weight down there. So, but you see the pads of the wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but if you, if you don't pull your, in your belly to get the support, mm -hmm. Then you take it in here, and then that's what causes the problem, and so. Well, I've never had a problem pulling in my belly because I'm used to having to for photographs. <laughs> look at the hit list, basically, and look at the priorities because time is of the essence. Yeah. I'm traveling quite a bit, and I know you're busy, and some of the potentially most challenging uh, vocals mm -hmm. that um, I'm hoping you can help Make it easier. Guide me and make it easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, I'm hitting the notes. You know, he did things when he came back from seeking opera. I mean, he went to, to he went to Modena, Italy, which is Pavarotti's home. Mm -hmm. And he comes back and he says to me, "You know, there's some good tunes in opera. <laughs> tunes in opera. <laughs> tunes. A lot of tunes. Mm -hmm. These are all opera." So these are the many tunes of opera. <laughs> Including the song. Don't worry, you Torandot. Torandot. You have uh, La Boheme, Tosca. Tosca, yeah. Yeah, I say Tosca, he says Tosca. So Tosca. I mean, these are things mm -hmm. that are right. Pronunciation and the right way to hold these notes and make some difficult moves, full voice into the innuendo, very difficult. But he did things, he did things which were crazy. I couldn't go with him. He went to London to do uh, oh, the with recording, the, recording of the aria. The yes, aria. with the London Symphony. Yeah, London Philharmonia. Yeah, and I couldn't go, so I called Bill Schumann in New York, and I said, "You got to go with him, but be careful what he sings because he, you want he'll sing everything because he doesn't know the difference. He'll just you know." I'm crazy. And he did, and he'd say even saying "Chile either which is not an aria that he would sing necessarily. But it's written, Tronum vici no al sol, and the soul is a high B flat of B natural. It's written pianissimo, but the guys get so nervous, and I mean the big guys, like, you know, Pavarotti, they, they mean, go, he says oh, they want to hit it real hard. He hit it pianissimo. Music, musically. And he made it louder, and then he came <laughs> back. He did what they call a mezzo de voce on a high, I thought I'd die. I thought, oh my God. I said, Bill, what'd you let him do that for? I said, he did it, did he? I said, yes, he did. Let's go into the next studio. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Listen to that. Something like that. Yeah, with that, with the vibrato. Even quieter. Be flat. Dry sand. We got We got our hidden. Why are you hiding Barbara? No, I don't it's, know why. it's not meant to be. We had somebody who put this up. It, it didn't happen exactly the way it was. Ah, so, okay. so we are in transition. <laughs> 